Right now, President Trump is at the border in Texas to talk about his immigration policies. He's kicking off a last-minute push to tout his accomplishments while in office. But as Natalie Brown reports, Democrats are pushing ahead with plans to get him out after last week's Capitol siege. President Trump spoke to reporters for the first time since the assault on the U.S. Capitol. He addressed efforts to remove him from office and pinned anger in the country on Democrats. This impeachment is causing tremendous anger. And you're doing it, and it's really a terrible thing that they're doing. Later, he claimed there was nothing wrong with his speech ahead of Wednesday's deadly riot. It's been analyzed, and people thought that what I said was totally appropriate. House Democrats accused the president of inciting an insurrection. The House will be in order. The House is expected to vote later today on a resolution urging Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment to remove President Trump from office. But with Vice President Mike Pence unlikely to take that action, House Democrats are planning for a vote as early as tomorrow on articles of impeachment. My view that the votes exist and that the right thing to do uh, is to proceed because Donald Trump is a clear and present danger every second, every minute, every hour that he remains in office. Questions remain about why Capitol Police were not more prepared. We didn't expect the mob, the riotous, violent mob we got on that day. Outgoing Police Chief Stephen Sund, who resigned last week, told CBS News he repeatedly asked the Pentagon to send National Guard troops during the attack. I needed boots on the ground, immediate assistance right then and there, helping to form police lines to help secure up the foundation of the United States Capitol building. They were more concerned with the optics. The Pentagon says it did not deny the request, but troops didn't arrive until hours later. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. There are at least 10 ongoing investigations into the actions of Capitol Police that day, including looking into one officer seen taking selfies with the rioters and another who wore a MAGA hat and allegedly helped direct the mob through the halls.